Hi, welcome to the 2023 Artemis Student Challenge. NASA hosts these challenges to attract and inspire the world's next generation of scientists and engineers and explorers. Thank you for your hard work and your dedication. You are the Artemis generation. You will lead us onto the next great space adventure to the moon, to Mars, and beyond. Hello and welcome to the awards broadcast for NASA's 2023 Student Launch Challenge. I'm Lane Figueroa with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. It is my pleasure to emcee today's event. We thank NASA Administrator Bill Nelson for his inspiring words of encouragement to each of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce a former Marine Corps pilot and retired NASA astronaut. He piloted space shuttle missions STS-127 and STS-135, the final flight of the space shuttle program. He also commanded SpaceX's Crew Dragon Demo-2 and is now the Senior Director of Business Development for Northrop Grumman. Please welcome Mr. Doug Hurley. Hello everyone. My name is Doug Hurley and I'm the Director of Business Development here at Northrop Grumman Propulsion Systems. I am honored and excited to welcome you all to the 2023 NASA Student Launch Award Ceremony. There are many awards that will be presented today and each one of them was earned by the hard work done by members of a team. As we announce the winners, I want each of you to reflect and think back on the work you did as a member of your team. What skills did you bring that helped your team succeed? What skills did you develop during the year that will be important in your future? What skills did others bring that you could not have succeeded without? I have been a member of many teams in my career, and I know that no individual succeeds alone. The challenge issued by the Student Launch Initiative is among the most demanding and difficult of all Artemis student challenges. It is a nine month commitment simulating the rigor of an engineering design life cycle, including testing and performance. As a former astronaut, I appreciate the hard work NASA engineers put into designing and testing the space vehicles that I was so privileged to fly aboard. The astronauts of the future may very well appreciate the work you do someday, and I hope you look back to your participation in student launch as an invaluable experience and a positive influence on your STEM career. The skills you learned and the challenges you faced as part of the student launch are foundational to success. As NASA moves ever further into space, I hope you are part of our mission, the Artemis mission. You are the Artemis generation, and we are relying on you to bring your skills to overcome our greatest challenges. Congratulations on a fantastic year and a job well done. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. We appreciate your support. We will now begin the awards presentation. Our first award, the Social Media Award, is presented by Mr. Kevin McGaw, Director of the Southeast Regional Office of NASA's Office of STEM Engagement. Social media is an important communication tool for telling NASA's stories to the world. The breathtaking images sent back from the James Webb Telescope, the historic launch of Artemis, and the successful reentry and recovery of the Orion crew capsule, and of course, the long-awaited announcement of the Artemis II crew selection are just a few stories brought directly to you through NASA's many social media platforms. And just like we use social media to tell the world our story, the student launch teams use it in amazing and innovative ways to tell their stories. Stories told through pictures and video of what it, it takes to design a rocket and payload system, of the late nights working in the lab or writing technical reports, of the excitement of completing and passing milestone presentations, or even the heartbreak of losing a rocket they put their heart and soul into during a test launch. Stories of teams inspiring students of all ages through science, math, engineering, and technology, of serving their communities, and of fostering the next generation of space explorers. What teams showed the world was their dedication, their perseverance, their wins and losses, and their passion for what they do. Through their eyes, we were able to see what it, makes, what it takes to make up a team and what NASA Student Launch 
and why NASA Student Launch is so impactful. For the Student Launch Social Media Award, teams are judged on their posting consistency, their creativity, and their content. It is my honor to announce the top three teams in each division. For the middle school and high school or SLI division, finishing in third place is Boy Scout Troop 17 from Charlottesville, Virginia. In second place, East Aurora High School from East Aurora, New York. And in first place is Morris County 4-H in Morris County, New Jersey. The Morris County 4-H Rocketry Club had a quality and active online presence that was regularly updated with photos, video, and details about their project. Congratulations, Morris County. And for the college and university or USLI division finishing in third place is the University of North Carolina in Charlotte from Charlotte, North Carolina. And in second place, North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in first place is the University of Puerto Rico Mayaguez campus. The University of Puerto Rico's social media presence throughout this year was top notch. From professional photo shoots, fundraising, sharing NASA content and meet the team segments, their graphics, consistency and quality of posts stood out. Congratulations to the University of Puerto Rico Maya Guess. Thank you, Mr. McGaw. Up next is the Best Looking Rocket Award and is presented by Dr. Carrie Olson, the Project Manager for NextGen STEM with NASA's Office of STEM Engagement. Student Launch challenges students to, to design, build, and fly a high-powered rocket and payload, but performance is the, isn't the only thing that makes a team's rocket memorable. A rocket with a creative, unique, and appealing look make it stand out amongst its competitors. Teams put hours into making their rockets not only perform well, but look good too. The Best Looking Rocket Award is given to teams in both the middle and high school division and the university and college division. It is voted on by the competitors themselves at the Rocket Fair held during launch week in Huntsville every April. This year, the winners in the SLI division are, in third place, Boy Scout Troop 17, Charlottesville, Virginia. In second place, Yam Hill Carlton High School, Yam Hill, Oregon. And in first place, Cedar Falls High School, Cedar Falls, Iowa. The winners in the USLI division are, in third place, Auburn University, Auburn, Alabama. In second place, Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, Blacksburg, Virginia. And in first place, North Carolina State University, Raleigh, North Carolina. Congratulations to the, these teams on their unique and great looking rockets. Well done. Thank you, Dr. Olson. Our next speaker is a familiar face to all our participating students. Please welcome Mr. Zach Cook, safety engineer for Student Launch with Bastion Technologies Incorporated. He is presenting the USLI Project Review Award. Innovating, enduring setbacks, and completing difficult work on time are all abilities critical for success in Student Launch. They are, however, not the only skills required. Communication is critical to success in this program as well as in any career or pursuit. The Project Review Award recognizes the college or university team that had the best combination of written reports and milestone review presentations throughout the student launch project year. This year's winners are, in third place, the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Indiana. In second place is Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee. And in first place, the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. The University of North Carolina at Charlotte consistently produced exceptional quality reports that were well organized, made good use of graphics and drawings, and presented all essential information clearly. Their presentations were efficient and understandable and every team member 
displayed a strong understanding of the material that they were responsible for. Congratulations to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Thank you, Mr. Cook. It is now my pleasure to introduce a key leader within NASA. We welcome Chris Brown, Deputy Associate Administrator for NASA's Office of STEM Engagement, to present a brand new award this year, the USLI Service Academy Award. Student launch is a major undertaking for any team. The women and men of the United States Service Academies have very busy days full of classes, drill, and training. The additional rigors of the student launch initiative provide additional workload and challenges. As such, it is both admirable and worthy of recognition that each year several of the academies compete in the program. The Service Academy Award is given to the top performing team from one of the United States Service Academies. The winner of the 2023 Service Academy Award is the United States Military Academy in West Point, New York. Throughout the competition season, the United States Military Academy team members proved they were capable, adaptable, and determined, overcoming a multitude of setbacks and difficulties, ultimately completing the student launch program with a successful launch in Huntsville. Congratulations to the United States Military Academy. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Next, we welcome Dr. Alada Taylor, NASA's Director of Strategic Integration and Management. She is presenting the Altitude Award. When launching rockets, the question always asked is, how high does it go? For the student launch project, Teams decide to target altitude for their rockets early in the program as part of their plenary design review each fall. Teams then design their rocket and propulsion systems to meet stringent weight and thrust values needed to reach as close as they can to that target. Modeling and simulation software is used to predict their rocket's performance before any actual launching is done. Only then are test launches performed to confirm that their models are accurate. Once adjustments, redesign, and tests are complete, the team files its final launch hoping for the best possible results. In each division, the team that comes closest to their predicted altitude in their final launch wins the altitude award. This award can be close competition, sometimes coming down to single digit differences in feet between teams and their targets. For this year's middle and high school division or SLI, the winners are Third place, Mathemania Robotics, El Cajon, California. In second place, Camus High School, Camus, Washington. And this year's SLI Altitude Award goes to Spring Grove Area High School, Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. Spring Grove's nearly perfect flight left them just 28 feet from their target altitude of 4,500 feet. Congratulations, Spring Grove Area High School. For the College and University Vision, or USLI, the winters are finishing third, the University of, of Alabama in Huntsville, Huntsville, Alabama. In second place, University of North Carolina at Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. And the USLI first place altitude award goes to Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee. Vanderbilt's target altitude was also 4,500 feet. But their design this year included a sophisticated 
altitude control fin system. The team was able to hone in on their target altitude, running calculations in real time during their rocket ascent, and only missed being dead on by four feet. Congratulations to Vanderbilt University. Congratulations to all. Thank you, Dr. Taylor. The USLI Safety Award is up next and is presented by Early McKnight, the Institutional Safety and Quality Manager for Bastion Technologies Incorporated. Hello. I'm honored to represent Bastion Technologies and NASA Student Launch for the presentation of the 2023 Safety Award. When working with rockets, there are many areas in which things can go wrong for our teams and our program. Therefore, safety must be the highest priority. Working in machine shops and laboratories, launching at the field, handling energetics, and testing hardware involves some level of danger. Even watching a live rocket launch involves some measurable risk. This year, the teams did an excellent job of incorporating safety measures into their programs. They researched how hazards may manifest, and they documented the steps taken to mitigate those steps. The safety award is given to the team that has met all of Student Launch's safety expectations and documented it to the highest quality. Bastion Technologies, as a leader in safety and mission assurance, has been a proud sponsor of NASA Student Launch for many years. Bastion demonstrates its commitment to safety and to continued support for Student Launch by providing a $500 prize to the first place winner of this award. This year's recipient of the 2023 Student Launch Safety Award is the University of North Carolina at Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina. The University of North Carolina at Charlotte produced thorough hazard analysis documentation, taking extra care to see that all hazards were accounted for and mitigated. Additionally, their standard operating and launch procedures clearly detailed every step of the team's operations, including safety practices, accountability, and technical specifications. Congratulations to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Thank you, Mr. McKnight. For our next award, we welcome Sophie Amster, the Events Program Manager for Relativity Space. She is presenting the 3D Printing Award. From 1986, when the first patent was issued for a 3D printing device, individuals and companies have been pushing the boundaries of what can be manufactured using 3D printing. Earlier this year, Relativity Space launched Terran-1, the first nearly entirely 3D printed rocket and proved 3D printing is viable by passing Max-Q, the mass stress on the rocket. Terran-1 was also the first methane-fueled rocket in the West to reach space, past the 100-kilometer Kármán line. Relativity has now accelerated the company's focus on Terran-R, which is our next-generation reusable 3D-printed rocket, set to launch starting in 2026. With more and more student launch teams utilizing 3D printing in their vehicle and payload designs, Relativity is honored to present the 3D printing award to the SLI and USLI team with the best application design and implementation of 3D printing into their launch vehicle and payload. For the SLI division, the winner of the 3D printing award is East Aurora High School from East Aurora, New York. This award comes with a $1,000 prize sponsored by Relativity Space. East Aurora High School utilized 3D printing to manufacture their nose cone 
GPS, and secondary structure for their payload bay. The team made sure to evaluate material trades and reasoning for opting for 3D components over conventional materials. eSorora took advantage of the benefits of 3D printing to optimize packaging within the payload bay. Congratulations, eSorora High School. For the USLI division, the winner of the 3D printing award is Iowa State University from Ames, Iowa. This award comes with a $1,000 prize sponsored by Relativity Space Iowa State University utilized 3D printing to manufacture majority of their rocket components. They took advantage of 3D printing to manufacture a unique nose cone design to improve their capabilities of the rocket. The team looked beyond simplifying manufacturing challenges and evaluated material properties of 3D printed coupons for their design. Congratulations, Iowa State. Thank you, Mrs. Amster. The National Association of Rocketry provides technical support for student launch and is instrumental to the competition success. Their president, Mr. John Hockheimer, is presenting the STEM Engagement Award. Good afternoon. Each year, NASA Student Launch and the National Association of Rocketry dedicate the STEM Engagement Award to an individual in the rocketry community who has gone above and beyond mentoring young people in STEM. This year, we dedicate the award in memory of Dr. Pavel Pincus, who passed away earlier this year. Dr. Pincus supported rocketry programs, including NASA student launch for over 26 years. As the mentor for Madison West Rocket Club, Dr. Pincus encouraged well over 500 students to pursue their passions in STEM learning and careers. His team was consistently a top performer in student launch, American Rocketry Challenge, and Rockets for Schools. It is our honor to dedicate the NASA Student Launch STEM Engagement Award in his memory. Passion for science, technology, engineering, and math is at the heart of every NASA Student Launch participant. Often this passion was ignited and nurtured in them by a parent, teacher, or mentor. That is why as a part of this program, our teams are tasked with reaching out and inspiring the next generation of STEM learners in their own communities. This year, student launch teams engaged more than 53,000 students, educators, and the public at their STEM engagement events. Each year, the STEM Engagement Award is given to the top team in each division who, competes, who completes the project requirements through a combination of creative and effective STEM engagement activities and events, quality reports, and numbers of learners reached. It is my honor to recognize the top three teams from each division and announce the winners of the 2023 Student Launch STEM Engagement Award. For the SLI division, finishing in third place is Camus High School, Camus, Washington. Finishing second place is Mathmania Robotics, Mission Viejo, California. And this year's middle and high school division winner of the 2023 NASA Student Launch STEM Engagement Award is Cedar Falls High School, Cedar Falls, Iowa. The Cedar Falls High School team reached over 500 participants through their STEM engagement events this year. Their various events included hands-on activities to teach K through 12 students about parachutes, aerodynamics, and the engineering design cycle. The team's activity reports were well-written and the passion they have for sharing their love of rocketry shown through. The team will receive a $1,000 cash prize provided by the National Association of Rocketry. Congratulations, Cedar Falls. And in the USLI division, finishing in third place is the University of Alabama in Huntsville, Alabama. In second place is University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Indiana. And this year's University Division winner of the 2023 NASA Student Launch STEM Engagement Award is Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee. Vanderbilt University engaged more than 1,400 students, educators, and adults in their community in a variety of STEM activities, including a simple yet unique activity that taught participants about biomimicry and aerodynamics and how engineers get inspiration from nature. By reaching out to a variety of groups, including K through 12 schools, community programs like the YMCA and Nashville Zoo, 
the team was able to reach an extremely diverse group of participants. Their reports were well written and included activity presentations, student handouts, examples of student work, and photos of, from their events. The team will receive a $1,000 cash prize provided by the National Association of Rocketry. Congratulations, Vanderbilt University. Thank you, Mr. Hockheimer. Our next speaker is Bob Seibold, the Senior Project Leader for the Aerospace Corporation. He is presenting the USLI AIAA Reusable Launch Vehicle Innovative Payload Award. Rocketry is very demanding work, but NASA Student Launch is much more than just rocketry. Teams are also tasked with designing, building, and executing a scientific payload mission. Traditionally, rockets are a means to transport payloads, human and non-human, to their destinations in the solar system. A payload can be anything from a scientific experiment bound for the ISS to the first humans to set foot on the moon since 1969. This year, student launch teams were challenged to design a payload that, upon landing, was capable of autonomously receiving radio frequency commands, instruct, instructing a series of tasks to be performed by an onboard camera system. This type of technological capability is notably useful for unmanned planetary exploration, like the Mars rover missions, where sets of instructions must be delivered to onboard systems for a task to be carried out efficiently and correctly. The AIAA Reusable Launch Vehicle and the Innovative Payload Award is given to the college or university team with the most creative and innovative way of tackling the challenge while maximizing safety and science and engineering value. In third place, University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Second place, Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. And first place, the University of Alabama in Huntsville. This award comes with a $1,000 prize sponsored by AIAA. The University of Alabama in Huntsville's innovative approach to this year's challenge resulted in a controlled landing configuration design with a passively deployed landing leg system. Their autonomous camera system received, decoded, and executed the radio frequency commands sent by NASA in under 30 seconds. Congratulations to the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Thank you, Mr. Seibold. Next up is the USLI AIAA Reusable Launch Vehicle Award presented by Kurt Polzin, the Region 2 Director of the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Thank you for having me today. I am so pleased to join you on behalf of AIAA to recognize the hard work of university students participating in the NASA Student Launch. Our Institute's mission is shaping the future of aerospace. And that can sound like a pretty bold statement, but AIAA is the world's largest professional aerospace technical society. So we are doing that with the engagement of 30,000 professional and student members, along with 100 corporate members. One of the most important aspects of shaping the future of aerospace is ensuring that there's a talented and qualified workforce. We want to see university students, like all of you, develop into the leaders of the aerospace profession, moving from classroom to career. You're taking an important step on your journey by participating in this event and gaining extremely valuable hands-on experience. AIAA student members have this type of opportunity along with so much more. AIAA wants to be sure our student members' careers are connected to their passions. We support student members' dreams with three broad programs. One, we connect students with our diverse international membership as mentors. This is the start of your professional network, and it can support you and help you meet your goals and dreams every stop of the way throughout your career. Two, we provide students with other competition and scholarship opportunities, much like this one. And three, we give students access to a cutting edge technical knowledge base of the aeronautics and aerospace industry. 
which dates back to the early 1900s. Now, let's move forward with the presentation of the Reusable Launch Vehicle Award. Student launch teams are challenged to design not just a high-powered rocket, but one that is reusable and can repeatedly fly to predictable altitudes carrying an engineering payload. Over the course of the project year, each team's design is evaluated repeatedly by the NASA Review Panel for Safety, Performance, and Innovation. The AAAA Reusable Launch Vehicle Award is given to the USLI Division team with the most creative, innovative, and well-constructed vehicle design that maximizes safety and efficiency. For the 2023 year, the winners are, in third place, the University of Alabama in Huntsville, Huntsville, Alabama. In second place, Washington University in St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri. And in first place, New York University, New York, New York. This award is accompanied by a $1,000 prize provided by AIAA. New York University provided excellent design and construction documentation through each design milestone review. Their design packages included decision matrices for materials, component shapes, and hardware options, beautifully rendered CAD and stress modeling images, and detailed calculations and test data justifying their design and construction methodologies. Their final product was within specs and met all performance demands. Congratulations to New York University. Mr. Polson will also present the USLI AIAA Rookie Award. NASA Student Launch is a challenging competition requiring a large amount of work. Teams are tasked with designing, building, and launching a high-powered amateur rocket and taking on the experimental payload design challenge. Throughout the program, teams also participate in milestone reviews that challenge both their technical writing skills and presentation skills. All of this is an immense undertaking for veteran teams in the competition, so teams that are participating for the first time may feel the strain even more. The rookie teams that participated this year in our college and university division deserve recognition for succeeding and making it through the rigors of the NASA Student Launch Project. Each year, the most exceptional of these teams are presented with the AIAA Rookie Award. Here are this year's winners. In third place is the University of Central Florida, Orlando, Florida. Our second place rookie team is Angelo State University, San Angelo, Texas. And the winner is the United States Military Academy, West Point, New York. The IAA Rookie Award is accompanied by a $1,000 prize to the winning team provided by AIAA. The United States Military Academy overcame great adversity this year. As a new team with the added rigor and restrictions of their service academy curriculum, the road to Huntsville was a difficult one. They consistently persevered despite it, providing quality design presentations, performing multiple flight tests, and completing their competition launch in Huntsville successfully. Congratulations to the United States Military Academy. Thank you, Mr. Polzin. Northrop Grumman is a longtime sponsor of Student Launch. Representing them today is Jill Eskew, manager of the Marshall Resident Management Office. Ms. Eskew will present the SLI Payload Design Award and SLI Vehicle Design Award. Each year, student launch teams, in addition to a high-powered rocket, must also design and build a scientific or engineering payload. While the college and university, or USLI, division teams are tasked with completing a predetermined payload mission and given specific parameters, the middle and high school, or SLI, division teams have more flexibility. SLI teams can choose to complete the college level payload challenge or design a scientific or engineering payload of their own choosing. The best designed and highest performing SLI payload is awarded the SLI Payload Design Award. 
This year's winner of the 2023 SLI Payload Design Award goes to Portland Rocketry, Portland, Oregon. This prize is accompanied by a $1,000 prize provided by the National Space Club of Huntsville. Portland Rocketry designed and tested a novel approach to an air brake system this competition season. Through multiple iterations, the team refined the design and ended the season with a nearly fully 3D printed system that they flew at the competition in Huntsville. Congratulations to Portland Rocketry. Each year, student launch teams are tasked with designing, building, testing, and ultimately launching a high-powered rocket carrying a scientific or engineering payload. Teams declare the target altitude at the beginning of the project year and work to design and build their rocket and propulsion systems to meet this altitude as closely as possible. A successful launch includes a well-designed and well-built vehicle that launches to Apogee and descends with a fully successful recovery system in under 90 seconds. Upon landing, the rocket must be recovered and deemed reusable without modifications or repairs. The SLI Vehicle Design Award is given to the middle and high school division team with the most innovative and challenging rocket design that achieves a successful final launch. This year's winner of the 2023 SLI Vehicle Design Award goes to Yamhill Carleton High School, Yamhill, Oregon. The winner of this award will receive a $1,000 prize provided by the National Space Club of Huntsville. Yamhill Carleton showcased a strong understanding of the mathematics and engineering skills essential to designing a rocket. They displayed these skills with detailed drawings, calculations, and CAD renderings in their reports. Their competition launch went beautifully and was a perfect summation of the effort they put into their rocket. Congratulations to Yamhill Carleton High School. Thank you, Mrs. Eskew. To present the SLI Judges' Choice Award, we have another representative of a longtime student launch sponsor, Mr. Terry Abel, the co-chair of education for the National Space Club of Huntsville. Each year, an outstanding team in the middle and high school division with the best combination of all the aspects of the NASA student launch project is awarded the Judges' Choice Award. The winning team stands out in areas including their report and documentation, their presentation, their scientific and experimental creativity, vehicle design and construction, and STEM engagement. The winning team is selected by the NASA Student Launch Review Panel. While all of the SLI teams in this year's program rose to the rigorous challenges of the project, here are the top three that showcased exemplary efforts and performance in their overall project. Finishing in third place, Mathmania Robotics from El Cajon, California. In second place, Seabrook Intermediate School, Seabrook, Texas. And in first place, Cedar Falls High School, Cedar Falls, Iowa. This award comes with a $1,000 prize to the first place winner from the National Space Club Huntsville. Cedar Falls proved throughout the year that they fully understood the expectations of the student launch program. Their unique designs, use of CAD modeling, and an interesting and novel UAV payload showcased just how much this team put into their projects. Congratulations, Cedar Falls High School. We will now announce the second place winning team for NASA's 2023 Student Launch Challenge. To do so, we welcome back Mr. Terry Abel. To all of our winners today, and to all of the teams who participated in this year's program, your passion and dedication has not gone unnoticed. It's my pleasure to highlight the hard work and the accomplishments of two such teams by announcing the third place finishing team and presenting the second place winner award in the USLI division of this year's NASA student launch. Finishing in third place is Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee. And the 2023 student launch second place winner is the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. 
the University of North Carolina at Charlotte will receive a prize award of $2,500 provided by the National Space Club of Huntsville. This team's consistent hard work, adherence to schedule and budget, excellent design and construction methods, and quality STEM outreach activities are just a part of their amazing performance all season. Congratulations to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Thank you, Mr. Abel. And now, Ms. Kay Anderson, the Manager of Communications for North of Grumman, will announce the overall winner of NASA's 2023 Student Launch Challenge. Over the course of the Student Launch Program, teams spend thousands of hours designing, simulating, building, testing, and launching their rockets and payloads. A tremendous amount of work and effort goes into their projects, and they have worked diligently and tirelessly toward their goals, competing at the highest level of rocketry competition. We are honored to recognize the achievement that every student launch team has made here today. It is now my privilege to announce the team that exemplified the 2023 NASA Student Launch Challenge and rose to the top in their project performance. The winner of the 2023 NASA Student Launch USLI competition is the University of Alabama in Huntsville, Huntsville, Alabama. The 2023 NASA Student Launch winner will receive a monetary prize of $5,000. The University of Alabama in Huntsville exemplified what it means to be a well-rounded and disciplined team. A combination of great design work, construction methodologies, STEM engagement, safety practices, and perhaps most critical to their success this season, testing, allowed UAH to succeed at every milestone. Their competition flight and payload performance were spectacular and ultimately prove their quality and dedication. Congratulations, UAH. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson, and congratulations to the University of Alabama in Huntsville. And congratulations to all the teams. Your achievements are truly incredible. To conclude today's award ceremony with NASA's final remarks, we welcome back another familiar face, Mr. John Eckhart, Education Specialist with Student Launch, representing Guardians of Honor. Thank you, Lane. It is my honor to close out the 2023 NASA Student Launch Activity. I want to start by thanking all of our sponsors and supporting organizations. Student Launch would not be possible without the support of the NASA Next Gen STEM Project, the NASA Space Operations Mission Directorate, Northrop Grumman, National Space Club Huntsville, the National Association of Rocketry, the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Relativity Space, Bastion Technologies, and Siemens Digital Industry Software. I would also like to thank all of the volunteers who helped support Milestone Reviews and Launch Week activities. A special thank you to the Range Safety Officer, John Lingdahl, for assisting in all of the design reviews and launch planning and execution. A huge thanks to our activity lead, Fred Kepner, along with our management team, Allison Chenard, Zachary Cook, Andrew Toomey, and Tyler Sprague. Thank you to our communications team, Chris and Lane, for constantly sharing the hard work our teams were doing throughout the year. Most of all, I want to thank you, the students and team mentors. Without your hard work and dedication for the past nine months, NASA Student Launch would not be possible. Our team thoroughly enjoyed meeting with you during your design review presentations to hear your unique payload and vehicle ideas. It was energizing to interact with the teams who traveled to Huntsville for our culminating launch event. Regardless of the results today, all of you should be incredibly proud for completing this rigorous project. We hope you take some time to reflect on the knowledge and skills you have gained, the challenges and setbacks you overcame, and the importance of what it means to be a part of a team. These are life skills. They will help you as you continue in your studies or as you transition into your professional careers. Remember, you are the future of NASA, aerospace, and STEM. And I can confidently say we are in good hands. Once again, congratulations to all of our winners. We can't wait to see many of you back in 2024.